Have you also been shopping for a brand new luxury car? Like us, we've been shopping for one, my wife needed a new car, and we decided to start looking around. Well, you don't necessarily have to break the bank and spend a king's ransom to get into a premium brand like the Three-Pointed Star or the Bavarian Beasts or any of those other premium brands that exist out there. You can get into one of the best brands in the luxury car segment for a relatively meager sum. I'm gonna share with you 10 of the best luxury cars that are available for somebody on a limited budget but still wants to enjoy the fruits of fine luxury motoring. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. And so the first car on my list is this beautiful white machine tucked right behind me. What do we have here? BMW 3 Series. And these 3 Series cost about $41,000 to start US dollars. But basically as we cycle around, you'll notice the new car is quite different. We have vertical grills. This is the four cylinder, two liter turbo engine. These make about 245 horsepower. You'll also notice we've got a different headlight assembly. Of course, these are LEDs, the latest and the greatest from BMW as opposed to look at those you can tell that's the older generation the new gen has this edge here of course the front spoiler is a little more aggressive a little more bold for a base model car we are looking at the four cylinder but even with that we've got 19 inch wheels all the way around led lights on the mirrors we've got the soft touch controls on a painted handle very nice and we cycle around what gives us away is these cars have the revised tail lights this is the latest the g20 of course this one's x drive so it's all-wheel drive and you've got these great little vent accents here, marker lights here. Very, very attractive car all the way around. You've got one pipe, two pipes, so it's got dual exhaust. And as I said, we have the 330, so that means it's the four cylinder car. Disc brakes all the way around, but let's look here. Another nice touch with a lot of these modern cars, plastic rockers, so these cars will resist rust very, very well. But let's take a look inside. You'll notice this is the latest interior on the 3 Series BMW. And you'll also notice this is the first time that BMW has a digital dash display, as well as you've got the latest iDrive system here and an eight speed automatic transmission to boot. Now, the only unfortunate part is you can't get a manual transmission in this current three series, but most people don't use those anymore anyhow. And the current ZF automatic does such a great job of banging through the gears that you almost don't really need a manual anymore. Now, if you go with the 330 like this, this is the four cylinder, makes about 250 horse. But can I also add, if you're looking for a little more jam, go with the B58 engine. It would be what they call the 340i, which gives you the six cylinder turbo three liter engine, makes well in excess of 300 horsepower, and will actually leave the old outgoing M3 for dead on the zero to 60 run. They're incredibly quick out of the hole. So personally, I would spend the extra 10 grand and get the six cylinder turbo engine. But for those on a marginal budget and just want to get into the essence of BMW, this here is a great way to go. The BMW 3 Series. So the next car on my list actually is this black car right behind me and it's the Audi A4. And the Audi is a great car. The A4 is great because 39 grand US gets you into one. Now what's great about the Audis, of course, is their infamous Quattro all wheel drive system. And of course, they've always got these very unique headlights, obviously LED headlights, very bold in the dark. They shine, they glare, they have got a unique look. They do have one of the most legendary all-wheel drive systems, second to really none other than maybe Subaru. Same thing as we saw in the BMW, you've got, you've got LED lights on the mirrors, you've got soft touch handles and painted, but Audi literally has one of the nicest interiors anywhere in the business. And their MMI system, so their electronic digital display is seriously one of the best in the biz as well. Now the Audi, of course, like most, sunroof on top, you've got your antenna, you've got the updated tail lights, you can tell this is the newest version, TFSI, so that's the upgraded engine, four cylinder turbo engine, and with that you also get dual exhaust in the A4 and the four rings. Bah! Now some people say these are basically just a Volkswagen or a Jetta, and there might be some truth to that, in fact, a lot of the Audis share a lot of part with the Volkswagen parts bin, but that doesn't take away from the fact that these literally have the best, nicest interiors in the business. It doesn't matter what you're driving in this price point, there is not a better interior in the, in the business than the Audi A4. The only thing I'd warn you on, historically, the four cylinder turbo engines in the A4 haven't necessarily been the most reliable, but stay with your maintenance if you're a leaser, or you're typically a person that buys and sells your cars every three or four years, then it's really not an issue. And the next car on my list is the Genesis G70 as we have parked right behind me here. 
These cars are absolutely great. They are also known to be one of the most reliable cars in the market today. That's right, in some cases they've edged out Lexus even for dependability in some circles. You can either get a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine that makes about 252 horsepower or you can get a 3.3 liter V6 that pumps out a whopping 365 horsepower. One of the most powerful cars in its class. If we cycle around too, so not only does it perform well, it's got the reliability, it's also got the style. I mean look, you've got the dual oval tips on there, you've got vents on the back, you've got marker lights, and there we go with the Genesis symbol. They have really made leaps and bounds in recent years. This one here of course is the H-Track 3.3 turbo, so as I said this is the 365 horsepower version. And you'll notice with this car as well it has the oversized glass panel roof on top, which is a step above what some of the other brands are doing. We just showed you the BMW and the Audi for the same price point they have actually less sunroof going on. This is actually an improved car where value is concerned. Now you can get these for 35 grand for the four cylinder or $45,000 for the V6 version. And I can't help but notice some of the great accent points in the front. We've got these great projector lamps in the front with LED accents, great styling bits on the front, spoiler here too. Look, even the mirror here looks very interesting. And it also has the light on the mirror there as well. And then if you look at the interior, it almost looks better than the BMW and certainly equal to the Audi in terms of overall fit and finish. I love that Q-stitch pattern on the seats. Gives it a really ultra rich look. So there we have it, the G70. You can't help but love such a car. It's honest, it's reliable, it performs well, it's financially feasible, and honestly gives all of those big brands a run for their money. The G70, great choice. You better give this one a look. I mean, it's no Lada or Skoda, but I think it'll get you from A to B. So the next car on my list is the Acura TLX, like this one right here. Did you know the new version actually has 272 horsepower fed from a VTEC powered turbocharged four cylinder engine? That's right, it is a dominator in its marketplace for four cylinder engines. These cars only cost a hair under $38,000 US as a base price and represent great value for performance, reliability, and luxury. Let's take a quick look. So here we are, the classic Acura large grille. You've got the large A there. They've got these cool headlights, which are unique for Acura. You don't see those anywhere else. Of course, as we back up, overall nice presence there to this car. And we cycle around, you've got the dual fog lights, 19 inch gunmetal gray rims, this exaggerated rocker guard here on the A-spec. As most of these cars now have, a mirror with the LED marker on the side, soft touch, which is beautiful there as well. Very nicely appointed. And we cycle around, beautiful. We've got that nice little wing on there showing its sporting intentions. Dual exhaust, which shows that this thing is mean and ready for business. And it's the all-wheel drive, so you can drive it in this sloppy stuff in the snow and still be able to drive along successfully. A-spec, TLX. But what about the interior of this car? Let's take a quick look. Very nicely appointed, although not quite as luxurious looking as you'd find in some of the other cars like the Audi, for example. The new version actually has a 10-inch infotainment system screen here. The TLX, a reliable performer that's going to last you forever and three and a half days. And the next car on my list is this little beauty right here. We have the Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. As you can see, what a beautiful piece. I really do love the styling of it. I think it looks like a miniature CLS. Of course, it's got the curved rear haunches on it. It's got that nice curled in rear taillights. I think it looks actually better than the C-Class taillights. This car here has the dual exhaust tips on there. And again, because this car is formatic, means it's all wheel drive. It has all four wheels driving to the pavement, keeping this car in line on these snowy and wintry conditions. Now circling around, we have nice color keyed handles. We've got these LED accents again on the mirrors and we circle around and we have the bold three-pointed star on the front end. Love the look of these cars. Obviously on the front end you've also got LED headlights and another thing worth noting is you've got the large panel sunroof here that you don't have in all of the cars in its class. But looking inside it is actually a very nicely appointed car. Has all the basics and then some. It's not your high-end S-Class by any means but that can actually be a good thing because some of the premium Benzes ride on air ride and that's a common failure point. Big turbos, that's a failure point. Four cylinder engine, very easy to maintain, very economical, but yet you can have a car that carries the essence of the brand. And yes, this was one of those that came very, very close to us buying just because we love the style of it, the performance. This car here has about 204 horsepower, so it's not gonna win a ton of races, but it's certainly peppy enough to get you up and merging onto the freeway nicely or passing on the highway. 
it does just fine, thank you very much. And because these cars are under $40,000 brand new, you can literally have a three-pointed star car that looks as good as a CLS and performs as anything else in its class. Great car, great value, and honestly, if you wanna get into a Benz, this is a great place to start. So the next great choice on my list is this, the Infiniti Q50. What do we have here? Q50S, but in the base model. Of course, this is the all-wheel drive. You can get these from about $36,000. You can see you've got dual exhaust tips, color match spoiler. You move around, there's lots of chrome accents, chrome here, you've got chrome on the door handles, and you've got soft touch here as well. As well as on the mirrors, you again have those lights that you see like all in the others. This one has more of a standard base model looking sunroof, but it serves the purpose. And again, what seems to be pretty normal now are 19 inch wheels on these cars. Circle around, you've got these great projector headlamps with an LED strip on the top. Classic Infinity front end. I gotta like that, it looks very aggressive and menacing. And we cycle around, this is the three liter turbo. Now these have a twin turbo three liter V6 engine that makes about 305 horsepower. Yes, that's right, zero to 60 miles per hour in about five seconds. Do you remember the old 911 turbo from the 70s and 80s? That's that territory in a luxury family sedan. We circle around. So what does the inside look like? Very luxurious, actually looks ahead of its class in terms of leather quality and the interior finishing. Lots of nice touches, lots of nice components within. It has a very premium feel within this segment, far more than some of the other cars in this league. So what can you say, performance, style, quality, and luxury all wrapped up into one affordable package starting around $36,000. Most of these are equipped around that $42,000 range, but you can also step up into the S version, the red version, which actually pumps out 400 horsepower, but this is more than enough and is actually fits within most people's budgets. So my next great choice is the Jaguar XE as we have right here. This is from Britain, it's their entry level model and honestly can be had for around $39,000 as base or approximately $46,000, $47,000 US for the topped up version like this, like we have the S Dynamic right here. And with these cars, entry level doesn't mean base model by any means, it does in the Jag world, but remember Jaguar is the premium luxury brand. Obviously lots of great elements to these cars. You've got the projector headlights there with LED strip. You've got that bold Jaguar front end. The typical accents from Jaguar you find there, you'll also see LED lights and strips there. Comfort access as well. And you've got the very large over sized sunroof that you find on the roof here which not all of these cars in this segment have so that's another great value point these cars here obviously you've got this cool little lip which tells you it's sporting intentions and we circle around and we look at those great little tail lights and dual exhaust gotta love that right there we have the s all-wheel drive you can drive on these icy road conditions it helps for that and then looking inside these cars very high quality interior although there are imperfections like panel gap and alignment for sure but the jaguar brand is truly legendary in the luxury world and you can have one for forty thousand dollars you can either get the two liter four cylinder turbo that makes about 247 horsepower or you get the supercharged v6 that makes 360 horsepower so great choices either way but the XE is one on my list for economical motoring. And what kind of list would this be if I didn't include a Lexus? These are great cars. It's the ES. This is the ES350 that I have behind me here. These are absolutely great vehicles. They have absolute cavernous interior, so much room you can haul a whole baseball team. Well, not literally, but literally there's a lot of room in here. You have a three and a half liter V6 that makes about 302 horsepower and can go from zero to 60 in about 6.6 .6 seconds. That's plenty quick for a family hauler. And that's right, that glorious engine's also coupled up to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Just does a great job of moving this thing along the road, just nicely. Very attractive mid-size sedan. And if you look around, you have the funky grille. Not everybody loves that, that's sort of a taste thing, but you can move on from that. You've got the projection headlamps there, again, and the LED strip, typical, nice little accents for Lexus. I actually love these mirrors. That looks very, very interesting, very much like an LC500. Got this cool little chrome tip, and it's got a pretty standard sunroof in there. But we cycle around. What this car does without is the big 19-inch wheels. We've got 17-inch rims on this car but it makes up in so many other ways. For $39,000, this represents massive value because it's also a very attractive car. I mean, look, you've got the dual exhaust tips, ES350, that means a three and a half liter V6. I love those tail lights. And of course, this chrome strip isn't overdone, but it's a nice piece. 
for sure. It's an absolute beautiful car. Now, literally with this configuration, you've got a car that is the largest in the segment that we're talking about today, has for sure the most reliability, and quite frankly is on par with any of them in terms of value and bang for your buck. Not a huge expense for $39.9 and honestly one of the best choices that you can possibly make if you want just good old fashioned reliable motoring. And lo and behold we have a Lexus and this one is the Lexus IS. The IS series starts around $39,900. You can get different engine configurations. And did you know it's a restyle for this year? It's been dressed up and touched up a little bit. So it's actually on par for price with the ES, its bigger brother, but it's because it has a little bit more of a sporty appeal to it. As we cycle around, you can see it definitely looks a lot more sporty than we see with the ES. The IS definitely has a much sharper front end on it, big gaping vents and gaps, and you've got this nice little LED, this nice little strip here, as well as the projector headlamps right there. You've got to love it. Now we cycle around, it has a pretty standard sunroof arrangement, and the mirror isn't quite as blinged out as the ES version, although you've got your little marker light there as well, and you've got the nice color matched handles. Now remember, Lexus for the most part doesn't overdo with the wheels and all those pieces, and again, you've got a smaller wheel on the IS than you do on typically BMWs or Benzes. And then we look at the bottom, we've got one and two, two exhaust tips, that's right, twin exhaust. This one's the IS 300, great engine, two liter turbo engine, Lexus, gotta like it. Let's take a look inside. There you go, not overly done, but a high quality touch, very similar to the Acura in that sense. So overall, a very attractive car, very affordable car, very reliable car, and I would just say, that maybe hold off by the newest version in 21. That's probably the car you want to buy. If you can't afford that and you want to maybe go for a couple years older, stay away from the IS250. It's a dog, it was a slug, and it's not the car you want. But the 300 and the 350 is really the car that you want to get if you want a little bit more performance. But these Lexus IS series cars are absolutely great machines to have. And here's the next car, and we actually bought one like this. What do we have here? The C300 Benz sedan. We bought the coupe, but more or less, it's all the same. Great car, great choice. Obviously, for about 40 grand, this car is very competitive. You've got the big three-pointed star, got the nice fancy rims. Of course, these cars as well have the lights on the mirror and the soft touch. This one actually has chrome accents, and you'll see chrome on the rocker, very, very sharp. And you've also got the full large panel sunroof. That is a nice touch. As you can see, only maybe a third of the cars that we've looked at have that feature. Definitely a very high quality, high class looking car. There's your 300. That means it's a four cylinder, two liter turbo engine that makes about 247 horsepower. And it's a four matic, which means it's all wheel drive. This car also has the dual exhaust tips. Very, very sharp looking car. And the interior is actually one of the nicer quality the interiors of all the cars in this class for sure very very sharp looking big dress up from the CLA even then we have the projector headlamps we also have the LED strip and an overall very attractive look the coupe brings a little bit more style to the front end and the sedans a little more classic this truly is one of the most cost-effective Mercedes-Benz in the lineup and yes chock full of safety features and it has a nine-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters so that was the C300 sedan and here we have the coupe and this is the car that we ended up buying. My wife really gravitated to this car. We tried the CLA and the CLA is driven mainly by a front wheel drive platform, although the all wheel drive is applied to the formatic version. It also has a much firmer ride and a little more jarring ride. The C-Class is a little more refined, feels more luxurious than the CLA. The CLA wins points, in my opinion, for the overall styling. I love the looks of it, that sharp, aggressive back end, the taillights, the headlights. It just has that look to me, and that's really why the charm of the CLA came really, really close. But if you look and just do a quick comparison, some of the other little pieces that are different on the coupe here from the sedan, we've got the headlights are a little different, as you can tell. Slightly different style LED. You've got these star style grills. I love that look and the three pointed star there. The front spoiler is a little bit more aggressive on the coupe here as well. And then of course we have the five pointed star there. I love these rims. They're actually the nicest wheels in the Mercedes Benz lineup. You've got the LED stripe on the mirror. You've also got the oversized glass panel sunroof, which a lot of the cars in the segment again do not have. Then we look back and I find the coupe has a much nicer look on the taillight assembly, a little cleaner than the sedan. And again, the C300 means this car has the 240 horsepower two liter four cylinder turbo engine. Great platform, economical, and very, very fun to drive. And that's how we got to buying the C300 Coupe. But with all that said, would you finance, buy cash, or lease? 
Well here, check this video, you're going to like to learn why leasing is probably your worst solution when buying a new luxury car. Hope to see you guys real soon, catch you then, bye bye.